Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we'll be talking about how to calculate the profitability of a new coin, right? Spec mining, basically. But how do you calculate whether that coin is profitable or not? And I just want to share some of the tips and tricks that I have and some of the data points or what to look for in order to get that data. But before we get into that, quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners. And on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering. And their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's mining profitability calculator. Just like ASIC miner value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash. And they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder. But just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and by supporting them you're supporting the channel and i couldn't thank you enough but let's get back to the video now this has come about because a number of you have hit me up in the comments asking the question well miningpoolstats.stream is a very useful website you can come here you can click on a coin or search for a coin and see all the pools available to mine that particular cryptocurrency you can see the pool feed the number of miners solo or or uh, pool mining you can see the overall network hash rate or how much hash rate that pool has percentage wise and normally, as a miner, it's your responsibility or good etiquette to keep the network decentralized, but that doesn't often happen. Is that not always the case, at least? But you want to know about new coins. Well, in the top left on the main website is a new coins category, and when you click on it, you will see all the new coins available. Now, I don't know the time range or what the date is or how many days it would take for that coin to fall off the new coins list, but... You can see here we've got a few new coins and one of the newest ones added is Meow Coin, and it's on an algorithm we are familiar with. That's the key, right? Because not all algorithms are going to be supported on your favorite mining calculator. And more importantly, not all coins are going to be listed on an exchange and we need that data in order to identify whether or not it's profitable. But Meow Coin does offer this information. Nine times out of 10, if you search for a coin and unfortunately 83% of the net hash is on one pool, but nothing we can do there. Just try to decentralize as much as possible. Uh, we can see the pools available, but also a lot of people forget you can scroll down. And if you scroll down, you will see some information like the exchanges that is supported or has trading pairs for this particular coin. Now, I can't say that I've used any of these exchanges, but that is good information to have because now we can see the USD price of said coin. And that information could be very useful. Why? Because we can take that to a converter, right? If you just go to Google, type in BTC to USD or LTC to USD or whatever, you can identify what the actual value is of said coin. It's gonna give you a weird number, but you can use that weird number in like whattomine.com. So we put in the overall USD price of this coin. And then here's the value that it spits out, 3.3 E-8. Hang on to that, but we're gonna need some more information. Now, if we go back up, nine times out of ten the pool will have more information that we're going to need on our coin for example if we go to zerg pool we could see our information for the coin right here we got the difficulty and we got the number of coins per block same thing with our plant we got the number of coins per block reward and the current difficulty that information could be useful because if we go to whattomine.com you can set up your rig you know put in all your gpus and see what your hash rate is on that particular coin which is another piece of information you need right so we're at 717 for my setup mega hash at 5000 watts low power hungry because it's inefficient how do we find out what to do well you just go to coins when you click on coins you can search for a coin of your choice now we want to find a coin that's similar or on the same algorithm as meow coin which is kapow and now here we can put in our information so we want to put in our hash rate i'm gonna put in 717 i'm gonna put 5000 watts we're at 10 cent per kilowatt hour block reward if we just click on enable we can change that to 3000 difficulty if we just click enable again 
We can change that. Let's go ahead and go with what our plant has to offer. Change that right there. And then exchange rate. Now the exchange rate, I already had it. I changed it already. And if I plug in this weird number right here, this 3.3 E-8, you will see that it changes to basically three Satoshis. Watch. So when I hit calculate, boom, it changed to three Satoshis. Now, what does that put us? Well, if we were to mine Meow coin right now, We'd be making about $18 a day in profit or 30 days, uh, 30 days, $30 every day before electric uh, electricity. Man, I can't talk today. So it's not bad. And if we look at the, the rest of the calculator, and of course, by the time you're watching this, Ethereum is already gone, no longer can mine it. But it doesn't, it doesn't sit too bad. So Meow Coin's up there with some of the other uh, Kapow coins as far as mining profitability, right? It might be, you know, top three, top five, whatever it may be. But that's how you can calculate, you know, should you mine this coin? Is it profitable? Excuse me. Let me re rephrase that. Should you uh, mine this coin? It's going to be up to you. Is it profitable is what I just showed you. You can calculate the profitability by getting the exchange rate using stream if it has or is supported on an exchange, which is very important. You can get that information here. You know, you can get the difficulty and the block rewards from the various pools. You can identify what the actual uh, BTC value is for your calculation. And then you just need to plug in your hash rate for your setup or configuration. And then you are good to go. And once you identify that, you can determine, okay, hey, this is the profitability of said, uh, you know, rig, setup, config, whatever it might be that you have. And then it's going to be up to you to do your own research on the project to identify, is it something you want to get into? Because here's the risk. You could be the one that is left holding the bag because the devs created this project, hyped it up, and then quit and moved on to a new project. And they're on to hyping that one to try to get their bag filled and get the heck out. And then you're left with a coin that doesn't really have any tangible benefit and is not really valued anywhere as far as exchanges. Those projects need to keep promoting and keep in innovating and be listed on various exchanges. And the, the good thing is, uh, like you'll see in a future video, is if a exchange does list this coin that you've been spec mining, you got a decent bag of it, you could wind up making out like a bandit. But stay tuned for that future video. Other than that, that's going to be it for today. Do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, make sure to get subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description. Uh, that helps support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.